Okay, when propane is burned, the balanced reaction is given here. If 6.99 liters of water vapor are produced at 744 torr and 25 degrees Celsius, how many grams of propane were burned? Now, this one, um, water vapor, I guess we have to know that that's H2O gas, but hopefully that's not too hard. Then we've got, okay, so then we've got a volume, a pressure, and a temperature. So we can find the moles of that using the ideal gas law. Sorry for the out of focus bit there. There we go. So PV equals NRT. That's a P, not a D. That's what we're going to do for the water vapor. Focus. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can move that down a little bit and see if that helps. All right. So, and then what we're going to do is we know that for every four moles of water vapor, there's going to be one mole of C3H8 of propane. That's the propane. And then that'll allow us to turn in, uh, moles of H2O that we get out of this into moles of propane. So for every four moles of H2O reacted, we get one mole, sorry, four moles of H2O water vapor produced, one mole of propane must have been reacted. So let's see. Um, we do have to convert tor into, oh, what are tor? I apologize. I may not have mentioned that even in the lecture outlines. One tor equals one millimeter of mercury. So instead of tor, we should write millimeters of mercury. Don't know how that slipped in there. That tor was a popular unit when I was taking this class back in, ouch, 1989. But now that that's done, converted into millimeters of mercury, we can now turn it into atmospheres. Let's see, so we know now we've got, uh, if we calculate, we've got pressure in the proper units, volume is given, R is a constant, T, we need to put into Kelvin, but we can do that. You're gonna get the moles from this, moles of H2O. And then from there, you're going to do a mole-to-mole -mole conversion. And mole-to-mole -mole conversions always use coefficients in the balanced reaction. And then that's going to give you moles of propane. Then you're going to do a molar mass as your next conversion factor. And that will help you find the grams of propane.